Here's your ingredient list. A cutting board, a knife, a mandolin, optional, tomato, red onion, arugula, green cabbage, red cabbage, curly leaf kale, dinosaur kale, yellow chard, red chard, carrot, mint, cilantro, basil, and avocado, salt and pepper, extra virgin olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. Purple cabbage, I'm gonna use the mandolin for this. About a handful, you're looking for about a handful of everything. Green cabbage. There's a carrot. Lose the top, lose the bottom. Cut the carrot right down the middle. Don't chop your fingers off. Then once it's flat like this, you can do thin slices. I like a thin slice carrot. A lot of people will do the um, sort of little penny cuts and that just doesn't have the same mouth feel. Next up, we're gonna do the red onion. I'm gonna do this with the mandolin as well. Cilantro. Now, I used to pick every single one of these leaves off, but a chef friend showed me that that's not necessary at all. You just want a rough chop, which makes the stems sort of inconsequential. Mint. Basil is crucial to this salad, fresh basil. Mm. You can rip leaves off, or you can just go do a rough chop on it, which is what I prefer. The stems um, are super fragrant and edible. Oh my, f <laughs> of course that would happen. The thing with the chard is all this spine right here, it's super bitter, so you gotta rip everything around that. It's really easy to do, it takes two seconds, but this guy can be really bitter, so you wanna get rid of that, at least in the raw application. The red chard, same exact thing. The chard goes in. I have a beautiful piece of kale, curly leaf kale. In this case, the stalk isn't necessarily bitter, it's just extremely fibrous. When you're cooking it, you can go ahead and leave the stock in there, but when you're eating it raw, it's just easier to eat when you lose that. Just cut this into bite-sized pieces. Tomato, I like to just cut the top off, then cut it in half, and then take that. Always gotta salt your greens. I learned this from a chef friend of mine in 2003 and it changed my life. Pepper, a few good turns, you know, nothing crazy. This is all entirely up to you. This is where you can't be scared. Go big with the olive oil. That's what makes it awesome and satisfying. And balsamic vinegar. That's what's gonna give the counter sweet taste. And then I just mix it up with a fork. You could alternatively just do it with your bare hands. The important thing about a salad is that it can be a meal. And this is just a decent base. You could add kelp noodles to this. You could add sauteed vegetables. But this already has 13 ingredients. And I promise you, with a healthy dose of extra virgin olive oil, this is going to be a very filling salad. That's it. It's a super easy salad to make. It's just a lot of chopping and slicing, but if you get really great ingredients, it is really hard to mess this salad up. It makes you feel really good. It's my favorite, and that's why I eat it almost every day. That's incredible.